<laughs> Let's talk to Michelle Dubry, who is, of course, a businesswoman, former winner of The Apprentice, joins us now. Very good morning to Hello. you. Lord Sugar wouldn't be very impressed, would he, if people... Not if he's sicky all the time. No, no, no not at all. So, um, do you find yourself struggling with illness, but going in anyway, or do you take sick days when you need to? Do you know, I think that if we actually stop and think, if you're just like your average person who doesn't have um, a particular illness, it's very rare, actually, that you would have a proper day where you honestly can't get out of bed and you're really poorly. For me personally, I don't seem to have that many um, of those days per year. But at this report that's come out now, it's really interesting because um, what it's saying is there's so many people that are taking lots of time off sick. Mm. But when you look at the organisations that they're taking sick time from, it's the kind of organisations that are putting a lot of pressure onto their employees and they're putting their operational success as a business over their employee well-being, which is not great. And in fact, the incentives are very often set up to go in, aren't they? Like Charlotte Sims has got incentives, I go into work sick because otherwise I miss my no days off mm -hmm. bonus. Yeah. Sorry if I infect other people, but I need the money. So the system there is set up that you're encouraged not to miss a single day. Yeah, and it's interesting because I found it a bit draconian that actually your measure of a good employee is how, how often he or she is sitting at a desk and for mm -hmm. how many hours. I think we need to move more away from that and move more into how productive are they, what are they actually doing, because honestly, if you really are poorly to the point where you can't get out of bed, if you are sitting at a desk, you're not going to be doing that much good stuff. And I think employers need to look at more how good is this person, what are they actually, what are they outputting, mm. how productive are they being, as opposed to how many hours are they sitting on their chair. Mm. Laurie mm. says, when I worked for a large retail company, the welcome back interviews were a joke. It was actually the Inquisition coupled by a warning about being off sick. Heather says, I don't get sick pay for the first three days that I'm off, so I dose myself with pills when I'm sick because I have to provide my, for my family. I mean, there are people who would say, yes, I'd love to take some time off, but I'm not going to get paid, so... I yeah, have so to go can. in. Yeah, and that's that's the problem, isn't it? That's why I just think if we could move more to a more flexible environment, you don't even have to be at your office all the time. You can go and work remotely. We can use different technology so we don't need to be there. Obviously, if you work in retail and you need to be in the shop, then you need to arrange the cover. But I just think we need to switch our mindset a little mm -hmm. bit because forcing people to go into work, and as the report was saying then, and making them have stress and mental health later on, as an employer, that's going to cost you more down the line anyway. Mm -hmm. Layla says that she thinks it's unprofessional to go to work sick. Because how can you then work to your best ability? And of course, lots of your colleagues might not thank you if you go into No, that's Does true. That and if you work... there, Kate, you want me to go? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the You're point? not going anywhere. <laughs> just wear a mask. Oh, I thought I'd be out there. to see you. Thank you so much. <laughs>